Rick, I'm so excited to try this out because our goal is to send $20 of mm -hmm. Bitcoin to you. Not 20 Bitcoin, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and then see how long it takes. You're in Japan. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. And see how long mm -hmm. it takes for the transaction to occur. And I want to capture this. So you already downloaded BRD Bitcoin Wallet, which you have there, right? Yep. I'll yeah, that's right. Well. I'll, this I'll is show it, it up this right is, here. This is mm -hmm. a fairly well-known uh, software wallet for the phone. You know, not the right. absolute yep. most secure, but but we want to. I want to go from a wallet that has the the private and public keys to a wallet that has the private and public keys. So what this is is this is non-custodial wallets we both have, a direct mm -hmm. sending. Okay. Okay. What I want you to do is look up Bitcoin. You know, set mm -hmm. a Bitcoin and then select receive and you should get a code okay so i have on that here we go yes okay i've done that so uh i went and you can in, show me that code the receive code now in this video i'm going to be blurring things out just right you know, here here it is that's the receive is, code okay yep that's so, it so now i'm in my I'm in my Tracer wallet, and it's blurred out because it's not showing my details of my account, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Bitcoin. It's very important you get the right coin. So Bitcoin Cash is right, different than Bitcoin, okay? Then mm -hmm. from there, I'm going to say send money right here. Send money. Yep. So see that? Yep. Click send I see money. That. And yep. then what I need to do is get your address. Okay, so now what you're going to be doing is sharing the receiving address, which is a hash. Done. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So, uh, but I sent it via, uh, via, uh, uh, via uh, Messenger. So yep. if you yep. look in Messenger, Perfect. you should be able to get that yep. hash code. Yep. So I'm going to go grab that. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm clicking the receive. I've got it in the receive mode. Now I want to scan the image. You sent the code. So I can just hold right. this up to the camera and it grabbed it. Okay, that's okay. excellent. So All that's right. the code I'm going to send to you. So okay. I got it. We sent it. The way we did it is we used, texted it to me, the QR code. Then I grabbed the QR code, then used the camera on my laptop to mm -hmm. have it scan the QR code and put in the hash <laughs> address for you. And it's very right. important. It's the right, you hit Bitcoin and not Ethereum or something else, you know? Right. I see. And now I want to put in, show how we do this. I'll put in $20 mm -hmm. and then it shows on the left. That's 0 0.00055706 of a Bitcoin, a fraction of a Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. Let me back up a second. So now what we've done is we've put in $20. I have the address here to send it to you that I got from you. It's showing mm -hmm. the equivalent of the fraction of a Bitcoin. Now, here's what's interesting. Mm -hmm. How fast it goes is based how much I'm going to pay because we're getting the, the miners and the systems to do it. And if we make it the lowest, then it's only 12 cents but it takes mm -hmm. 15 hours to transfer it. Oh, that's interesting. I okay. can see the estimated time, right? Estimated right. time, which is fascinating mm -hmm. because remember, they're not driven by trust. They're driven by self-interest. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what's so fascinating about this system. So then I say economy, and then it says it'll go in four hours, and that costs me $1.15. Now, what's mm -hmm. exciting is, I want to just show you something. If I put $100, which don't love you that much to send but it's still a very low amount you see it's it's because yeah, it takes the right. system to operate it's not mm -hmm. like it's a percentage like banks and other things could be mm -hmm. a right. lot of the working class that sends money home they're taking a big percentage cut off of that okay mm -hmm. so this same so you see i'm going to drop it down to twenty dollars it's a dollar seventy eight yep and you see, it's just a dollar fifteen, so it's not that big a difference, you know. So right. because it, we are moving money, and someone is handling now dollar eighty eight in ten minutes, and then high in ten minutes also. So both 
high or 10 minutes. And that's because that's the approximate time of a block to be generated on the blockchain. Mm -hmm. I so see. Normal so it's, or high. It's, in, it's interesting. Now, it, obviously, if someone was really concerned about, um, is not, I'm sorry, is not very concerned about speed, um, you know, they could, they could say, well, as long as you get the money by, you know, by tomorrow or the next or two or three days later, they can choose low. And this is quite inexpensive. Even, yeah. I presume even for a larger, large amount. Absolutely. So let's low. go low and let's put it up to just a hundred dollars to see, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the gas, they call often refer to it as the gas. It's 19 cents to yeah, get it in 15 great. hours. Can you think of, imagine if we were transferring through the bank system, something, uh, well, you know, you'll get not. it three yeah. days and verify it and it'll cost this much to transfer it and everything that's right. else. So we're going no, to, it's very inexpensive. Mm-hmm. And now we're going to do it and drop it to normal or high. So we got normal or high. Mm -hmm. I think I want to just put it normal. There's no difference because, again, this is an experiment. So then sure. you're going to get okay. $20. It's going to cost me $20, $21.83. Okay, I see. So now we're going to – I want you to kind of keep an eye on your wallet – and when I click send, I'm going to start a ti timer that I have here. It's like 60 minutes, you know? Now, now the, I have a hardware wallet, okay, that I'm mm -hmm. using. And the hardware wallet requires, there's the wallet. You can kind of see here. The hardware wallet requires me to then put in my code to verify it before it will send it. Good. Another, another a higher uh, level guard. of security. Okay. Do you mm -hmm. get it? Right. And now it's going, and there it goes. Okay, confirm. And then it's going to have me check the hash on my wallet here. Okay, this digital little device here. We get yep. it so you see a little bit. And then I'm going mm -hmm. to say, oh, does that match what's there? Verifying it here and looking at it. Then I'm going to say verify on the unit and say hold to confirm. And it's confirming it. So it says it wants to make sure I'm serious about what I'm doing and says confirm. Mm -hmm. And now we're ready to send. And so it's showing the amount uh, and then showing the fee and then the total. So mm -hmm. let's, and then we'll see what you're getting on your end. All right. Ready? Okay. Yep. I'm all set here. Okay. Now it is on its way. Okay. Now let's see. So it could take up to 10 minutes. So I'm starting our timer, okay? But the amazing thing is that it, this is going out, being broadcast on a decentralized system around the world. Mm -hmm. And then these, these, these systems, which are, are the miners and, of course, the core nodes, are all working to go, okay, who's going to handle this? What's going to mm -hmm. occur? And then then it's going to be confirmed, and then it will show us the process along the way. So I'm going to – let me get this off. And then yeah, it's an interesting up. interesting process. And oh, here, so I'm receiving – okay, it says I'm receiving some Bitcoin here, 0. 0.00056. BTC, I'm receiving it. It's in the process of showing that I'm receiving it. Now, I haven't received it yet, but it right, is. Right, you're receiving it, and mine's sending it. Do you see it, on my screen? Yep. It says exactly. pending transaction, sending. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's already uh, recording this activity now uh, on on my own uh, BTC right. app here on my phone. Uh and we yeah. already at least got a partial confirmation. So if this were That's right. a transaction of a lower importance, we might say, we're good to go. I'll ship the thing out. But if it was a higher priority, we might wait an hour or something. So we had several intervals of the 10 minutes because right. what happens is as new blocks get added, our transaction becomes more secure. Mm, I see. And yeah, the yeah. brilliance of this is no banks were involved. 
-hmm. no authority was involved. So if we were in a developing country where the, the economy had a horrible crisis and we were trying to move our funds out because we might lose everything, or we were trying to help a family member in need in a developing country and we're worried that if we transferred, it could get stolen or something. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is a process. Agreed. Yeah. This is so one far, of the it seems like it seems really good. Um, so yeah, I'm so now at, because, it, go ahead. It was about a, a minute or so when we first got it, and now we're mm -hmm. at about two minutes and 49 seconds. So when you first said it, that was approximately a minute. And mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So I'm still at the, uh, yeah, it's still in the confirming stage of activity. Um, but, yeah, it seems to be in process. So there is confirmation of that. Um, now, it's such a small amount that maybe these blocks will start to fall into place quickly. They may not be regular. I don't know yet. We'll see how that, you know, how it well, works. What's interesting but, uh, is the process is it really, speed. Rick, the process the same if this were $20 or a million dollars. That's what's yeah. so fascinating. Okay. Because yeah. all of it is being held it's kind of like they're pointers to the blockchain ledger. Mm -hmm. so what you you're having, you are you are playing the bank, and I am playing the bank, and no one else is involved, except the mm -hmm. system, the distributed system, that's doing the work. Yeah, it's that system that's doing the work. That's and how this has been set up. That's fascinating, and the fact that. They are not uh, that this is not requiring a, a a large transfer fee is very interesting. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah, because it, when it goes, let's see what happens. Systems, if I were going through like uh, a bank, then it would go through the intermediate bank, then the other, then your bank, then you know it could take several days, and then they have to verify it, and they want to make sure it's verified, and we're all trusting mm -hmm. all those little computers and all those systems are, mm -hmm. are keeping everything secure and not double spending it along the way or anything else. Yep. And this was created by someone by the name, the pseudo name of Satoshi Nakamoto. And I, I, hopefully I got it correct. Satoshi Nakamoto. Pretty, pretty good. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I see good pronunciation. And, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <clears throat> and so now we are working. Uh, it is working. And examples of this would be if it's a cup of coffee, you could see we could take this risk and say we're done. Thank you. Walk out the door. If it's a car you're buying, you might want to wait 10 minutes or so or maybe 20 minutes to get several mm -hmm. blocks in. If I'm buying a house, you know, we might want to wait an hour to or so to confirm. Sure. But sure, still, if you think how mind boggling this technology is, it's the fact that someone sat down or a group of people and said, I'm so fr there we go. It says it's sent. Go check your system. Now it just okay. changed to sent. All right. So mine is still five showing minutes and 53 seconds now. Okay. Mine is still showing zero of six confirmation. So there's a little delay. Okay. Now, just as I thought, so here we go. The first one, one of six confirmation suddenly showed up. So maybe these blocks on the receiving end, at least in this case, are um, rapidly, now they're starting to more rapidly uh, fall into place or something. So now it's one of six confirmations. Yep. And, and I can right. actually see, I can actually see a little uh, bar graph that is sort of moving around. Yep. Uh, and I'm at six minutes and 35 right. seconds. So six well, minutes. I remember it. Yeah, I think it said about, I think you chose the normal and, and that, that in this instance, it said something about approximately 10 minutes. Yeah. So we're not even at uh, 10 minutes yet. And one of, at least one of the confirmations on my end, I, I can now see. And it indi it's indicating it clearly. It's quite comforting also to see the little, the little bar. It's a circular... Yeah bar graph um and yeah it's 
would be I could I could see how this could be so useful. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe I'll send you back to twenty bucks. By the way, <laughs> however, however you want to do this, I don't I know. Hold it, it for a while. Or, if or, if it goes up it, to a hundred thousand, you made some money there. I love it. <laughs> so if you um, you uh, hold whatever, up your phone and show what you at least have right now. Okay, so no, I don't know how much you're going to see, but there's a yeah. tiny. You can see the tiny yeah. circular. Yeah, code and yep. see okay. how there's a blue right. line. Yep. And, Back up and a no, little it's... bit, and you'll probably get more in focus. Yeah, uh, so maybe. we're getting at least the idea. You got it. Yeah, so yeah. The portion at least you can Bitcoin see the little there, the portion of and that. And it's showing yeah. the process. And, and we're at like seven minutes. I mean, I just yeah. think people are, are not realizing the wonder of what was created here. This is, to me, a change in history. And now, you know, and and when, the way we explain it, Dana and I, when we're talking about it, we say, think of it like the first functioning automobile. <laughs> you know, it's on the road. Now, the fact is, we don't have gas stations everywhere. You know, we don't have highways everywhere. So you could go, well, you know, my horse and buggy will out travel that thing over there that needs that dark liquid <laughs> stuff, you know? <laughs> Sure. sure that's, yeah. that's to me yeah. what's exciting about this. We are on a frontier of something, the first viable method of transferring value mm -hmm. that has now lasted well over 10 years and, uh, and is just let us do a transfer of value from Raleigh, North Carolina to Japan in yeah. an amazing short time. Yeah, and with a, a very minimal fee i mean right. comparatively speaking right uh, compared to because i have uh transferred money uh, i've sent money to the states and other countries and using banks and using other transfer methods uh post you know for example the post office using a, a postal service right. money tr money transfer system through yeah. the post the, the japanese postal system yeah. and it's not only does it take a long time for me, I have to actually go in person to the right. post office. There's also a substantial fee involved. Right. Um, so this is, uh, if this does work well, and it seems to be working well, then it's very convenient. It's very secure. It's, it's um, yeah, it's quite amazing. Now, um, this is also comforting that I can see, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I can see the amount that I am receiving. So it's in green letters. I'll hold it up. I doubt that it's going to be focused enough, but mm -hmm. yeah. you can maybe see over there yeah. twenty to twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, you got it. Showing so, the $20. so it, yeah. it's listing the amount clearly. Yeah. Um, it's in process now. It's still showing one of six confirmations. Right. Yeah. But yeah. I think that when this, uh, when it happens, it's, I suspect it's going to happen almost all at once. Right. right. So, um, like the well, remaining. What I want to point bits. out, Rick, is you've never mm. done this before. No, this is you know a completely I mean? That's new what's so experience. exciting. I got a my my friend yeah. in Japan <laughs> who's never dealt with any cryptocurrency or crypto that's at right. all. I haven't. Yep. Never this dealt with crypto, me. right? And you have yep. basically now, you know, I I you you download an app, you accepted it, and now you have that. And then that could either mm -hmm. be transferred or you could find an exchange to be able to switch it into or something else. So that's that right. could be moved from that to an exchange for for yen and then you would have currency and of course what people don't realize is most of the, the world's really not working on printed currency or coins anymore we're basically working on numbers so that would go from the numbers of that through an exchange into the numbers of yen in japan mm -hmm. yep let me take a look again here yeah. uh no we're still i'm still at that point but it does appear to be working so um yeah, this is fascinating. Uh, that's and cool. we've now transferred twenty dollars <laughs> from Raleigh, North Carolina, to Japan, and there was no intermediate centralized system. 
Yep. <laughs> so it seems. <laughs> this is great, Rick. Well, thanks, Rick. I yeah. think we're going to wrap well, it up you. for now. But that we we got our our. I wanted to do this once and have our test and hope people enjoy it. I do want to tell people make sure to click subscribe in the bell. And thanks, Rick, for for your help in. Oh, thanks. And thanks for the 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. right. Well, I'm going to see you. We'll, we'll let you <laughs> buy me a few beers when you get back to America on it. Exactly. <laughs> sure. However you want to handle this, yeah. it'll be fine. Uh, but it's been a very interesting experiment. And uh, it's something that it may be of you know, personal uh, use for me yeah. living here in Japan yeah. and being able to send things uh, with ease, with qu yeah. quite a bit of ease. This, this yeah. is an easy process also because I... As you mentioned, this is the first right. time for me to do this. Right. Uh, right. To set, I set this up. This, it's it's morning time here in, in Japan, by the way. Right. It's, it's a Sunday morning, yeah. and uh, you wanted to try this experiment. Sounded good with me. I had a little free time. I didn't need much. Right. I searched for this app on my iPhone, yeah. downloaded it. Didn't take but a minute. Set it up. There's a little process involved with that. So, some security protocol. Mm -hmm. um, right. It's you, not that you wrote difficult. down the, the mnemonic exactly. phrases, a, a yep. sequence of phrases. Yep. Uh, it did not take. It didn't take long at all. It's it's very simple, step by step process. And now here we are doing this live, and it seems to be working just fine. It's yeah, good this experiment. So Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks, Rick. We'll take Thank care. You. We'll talk soon. Okay. Take care. See you. Thanks again. This is a screenshot from Rick's cryptocurrency wallet a few days later, just to show you that the money was fully received. And it looks like it's gone up in value since I sent it to him. Have a great day. And remember, click subscribe in the bell.